Thanks. It's great to have Simona here with me. Welcome, firstly, Simona. Um, it's been a solid start to 2017 for you. 13th overall at the Melbourne Grand Prix last weekend. How do you rate your start to the season so far? It, it, it was okay. You know, I still, I'm still learning a lot from the cars, but uh, I think we'll take it for sure. Finishing 13th uh, at Melbourne was, was pretty good, but we know some tougher races and longer races are coming up. And, uh, but the good thing is that we're really improving every time we're out there. Now, you've raced in a number of series overseas, including IndyCar as well. Um, there's always going to be that expectation in Australia of you being the first female full-time driver in supercars. How do you handle that expectation? Is it something you just put to the side and just focus on racing or is it something you like to embrace? Well, definitely, I think I kind of put it on the side because I'm kind of used to it. I've always been the only female in any series I've raced in, so it doesn't really feel that new to me. But for sure, I think there's a lot of people that are going to be watching, you know, where does the girl finish? So you feel a little bit of pressure, but I know it's my first year and I really have to get used to these cars. So I'm just taking my time and really learning the car and then hopefully the results will come. I've had pretty good results in the past, so uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to do that in supercars as well. Now we see you driving Indy cars there. How hard has it been to adapt to the Nissans here in Australia? It's a new car, new team, you've got to try and get them up to speed pretty quickly. Yeah, well it's been pretty crazy because all my career I've been in open wheel and you know I, the first time I was driving an open wheel I was like 17 and then for like almost 10 years I really worked on my driving skill and how I was driving this car and really learned that and now the supercar is a completely different animal. You know, you, you're braking differently, you're turning the car differently so it's just it doesn't feel natural to me yet, but I'm getting used to it. And the thing is, these cars are so competitive. You know, when you look at the field, everybody, you know, is almost within a second. So it makes it even tougher when you're racing against people who have been in the car for like 10 years. But I think slowly and surely, you know, we're getting there. We have to get a little bit better in qualifying because that makes our life a little bit easier than in the race. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had James Courtney in the studio with me. Of course, in Adelaide, he gave you a little bit of a shunt as you were going yeah, to the pits. He did. He did say sorry eventually, I believe. <laughs> what was your take on the situation? Here it is right now. You're going to the pits and he's just spun you around. Well, what I'm learning is that apparently we race like this in Australia. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It was a, a bit of a weird situation, but, you know, it, it happened and you can't change it once it happened. So, uh, but definitely, you know, I think there's a little bit more door to door and a little bit more pushing and shoving that I'm used to. So, you know, it's just good to know that uh, that's how we're going to race from now on. Sounds like that's a warning to everyone else in the field. You're going to be hitting back. Well, 2017, what are your goals? Can you win a race this year, do you think? I think it's going to be difficult, you know, because, uh, yeah, like I said before, I don't know the tracks. I'm still learning the car and how to race these cars. So I think uh, having a result is quite dif difficult to put where we, we can finish. But hopefully, I think if we can have a couple of top tens, I think that'd be a huge goal for us and a huge achievement as well. And the biggest thing is I want to finish the year and be, know that, you know, I'm there. I know what to do in this race car to be quick, to really be competitive in year two. All right, just finally, you've got two nicknames. One of them you hate. One of them I believe you love. Swiss Miss you do not like. I don't like Iron that. Maiden. Yes. Tell me about, how did that come about? Uh, well, it actually came from the fans. In uh, 2011, I had a, a really big crash at Indy where I had a suspension failure. And it happened during practice, during the Indy 500. And burned my hands pretty badly. And... Um, and then I got out of the car and I, I told myself I never want to drive again. And then I decided a day later to, you know, I still have to get back in the car and get on it, you know, like get, getting back on the horse and did that on Saturday and qualified the car with burnt hands and uh, the fans called me the Iron Maiden after that. So I thought it was a pretty cool <laughs> nickname to have and I didn't know it was a band actually at the time. So, you know, I discovered a whole new world yeah. with it. <laughs> well, I think we're all very happy that you stuck with Motorsport. We love seeing you drive in the Supercars series and uh, we wish you all the best as you go forward. Thank you. All right, and of course, the next round for Simona will be in Tasmania next weekend. So hopefully she goes well.